Today let's talk about this viral TikTok trend, creating your own at-home toothpaste mix concoction and dispenser. In theory, you're putting your fluoride toothpaste and your fluoride mouthwash, which, hey, I should be happy about that, right? As far as trending down things on TikTok go, I shouldn't be too mad they're using fluoride, but you're putting it together in a clear glass bottle that you can then use, pump it out easily, and it keeps everything nice and clean and tidy in your home. These go viral, like mega viral. I think that one has 19 million views now, but is this something you should do? We'll talk about it. I'm gonna do a voiceover as I create my own because this, I don't know, has a certain je ne sais quoi that people love just watching someone mix and make their own thing at home. So I will do that for you and we'll talk about it as we go. All right, let's get started. Clear this out of the way. Don't need it till the end. Two tubes is all I was willing to invest for this experiment. Move my toothbrush. Open up the soap dispenser. Toothpaste packaging is opaque. That means light cannot enter. The ingredients are not light stable and therefore the shelf life and effectiveness are compromised as soon as you add them to a clear bottle. The second factor to consider is cleanliness. You are likely introducing contaminants. And last but not least is the fact that you're blending two products that weren't meant to be combined. Ah, I love that smell as a kid. These are good. Now this is a meth wash. So though this is very satisfying to watch, I do not recommend that you serve up toothpaste in your home in this manner. My, there's a lot going on in there. Let's see. I'm gonna pump it up. So you're starting to get a hint for the problem. These weren't made to go together. They're supposed to be kept separate. <laughs> oh, and look, it came out pretty nicely. Looky there. But as I've probably been telling you in the voiceover, you know why. I don't recommend this. Even in a bottle that's not see-through. These aren't made to go together. So don't make them go together. It's cute, but just get a toothpaste that has its own dispenser or get a toothpaste cap to keep it clean. Let me show you those. One thing you can do is get toothpaste that comes in a little pump dispenser. So just like the soap dispenser, but it's appropriately packaged and the shelf life is maintained, the ingredients remain active and it still can stay relatively clean. And it has a little pump and a certain amount comes out, pea size, and then you put that on the toothbrush. Same thing for this. This is a prescription version. It's called Just Right, but it has the pump that gives you the appropriate amount and on your toothbrush, nice and clean. And again, it's in its own container. It's not getting light exposure. It's gonna maintain its shelf life and the ingredient activity. Another option is to take a regular old toothpaste tube and put a toothpaste little squeezy cap on it. You can see I've used this many times. These they do tear eventually over time. You have to get new ones, but it's like five bucks for three. And it's a little silicone cap that dispenses the right amount. It also auto seals closed, so it minimizes that waste. You just kind of slide it over the tip of the toothbrush. We're gonna rinse and reuse. There you go, same thing. So there are different ways to accomplish that same goal or objective of a clean bathroom, not toothpaste everywhere, but using techniques that we know work and don't compromise the integrity of the materials that that we want to use like your toothpaste you want to think of it like a medication in a way and you don't want to just mix that willy-nilly thanks for watching guys here's what youtube thinks you should check out next <laughs>